Hush. Noticing. I'm noticing. And? <laughs> and you look incredible. Almost as good as that girl over there. What girl? The one you've been staring at. On our honeymoon. Oh, that girl. Ah, yes, that girl. So, is she pretty? I don't even know. I, I, did, I didn't even see her face. <laughs> you didn't get that far, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So I... Snuck a little peek. Oh, yeah, a little peek. Yeah, she just reminded me of how much I miss you. Oh, please, Justin. All of you. Justin, you're staring. This is to you, right? <clears throat> right. And there's nothing to do on a tropical island except stay in your hut and sunbathe. You're still staring. It's time to take your top off. I knew you were going to say that. What do you think? I think you're just kidding. <laughs> Come on. Everybody's doing it. Me? That girl over there? So, what do you think? You're right. I'm right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go top us, too. What does it look like I'm doing? Well, just hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not really going to do this. Justin, you said everybody was going topless. It was an observation. No, Justin, I heard you. You said I should go topless, too. I was just kidding. <laughs> no, you weren't. Yes, I was! Did you really think I was serious? Well, Justin, if it's a Tahitian custom, the least I can do is go along with it. Like that girl over there. Yeah, well, hold on. That girl is not my wife. Oh, I see. It's okay for her, but not for me. That's right. I don't want people to be staring at my wife. At least not that way. So it's okay for you to stare at her, though, right? You're not going topless. Justin, <clears throat> it's not fair to have to the standards. It's not your style. Oh, maybe I should topless. change. If you go topless, you're going to regret it for a long, long time. I'm scared. You'll have to catch me first, though. Really? Yeah? Yeah. It will be my pleasure. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. It'll be an even trade. I'll keep my wedding ring on and take my top off. <laughs> ah! A little much? I mean, taking off my top wasn't oh. that bad an idea, was it? <sighs> Justin, what's wrong? I don't know. <gasps> but it's killing me. What happened? Uh, well, I, I think something bit me. Whatever it was, it must have been hungry, because it feels like it took a chunk out oh, of it. Oh, gosh, it was a sea urchin. Are they dangerous? Yeah, it can be if you don't get the spine out quick. Spine? Yeah, they're covered with them. You got one stuck right in the middle of your foot. Listen, I'll take care of it for you. Keep hang still. I'm so glad you're here. Listen, thanks for the offer, but I think I need to see someone who knows what well, they're doing. Justin, I think she does. Ow, ow. Justin! I'm sorry, you can be really stubborn sometimes. You know how stubborn you can be. Why? Just because I wouldn't let that girl help me? Well, Justin, she seemed to know what she was doing. She was a kid. You didn't think so when you were gawking at her. <laughs> I was never gawking. Anyway, you should have let her help you. <sighs> you mind? I'm holding out for professional. Not some topless beach bunny. Oh, well, would it make any difference if the beach bunny wore a white jacket? <laughs> uh, you could get in big trouble for borrowing that coat. Oh, well... Life's a risk. Hi, I'm Carly Manning. Hi. Hi. Dr. Carly Manning. Dr. Manning? Mm-hmm. This really is my jacket. You're a little young to be a doctor, aren't you? 
Well, I just finished my first year as an intern. You look more like you just finished your first year in high school. Oh, well, I was a child prodigy. You know, I graduated from college when I was 12 and finished med school just in time to get my driver's license. Very funny. Oh, you had him going, I can tell. Look, I need a doctor, not a comedian. Or a beach bunny. All right, I'm out. <laughs> no, Justin, don't. Ow! Hey, no, Justin, don't. Oh, come on, down. Come on, let me down. down. No, 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 you can work on your comedy routine. What I need is a real doctor. Excuse Justin, me. Justin, Justin, Justin. Do you know what you're being? You know what you're being. What, a male chauvinist? Yes. If you'd let Dr. Manning help you on the beach, you wouldn't still be limping around. I like limping. It's part of my macho image. Ow! What's the prognosis? Well, I've got some good news and some bad news. Um, the good news is that I can fix this. The bad news, however, is that you're going to live. <laughs> you're a hoot. She's a hoot. She's a hoot. <laughs> One spine coming out. <sighs> but I'll take care of it. Well, I must admit, Doc, it does feel a hell of a lot better. Oh, well, thank you. You sit tight. I'm going to get some medicine for you. She doesn't have medical skill. She's so young. I mean, doesn't she look like she's still in high school? It's just that she's not that young. She's also the first doctor I've ever seen who wore her lab coat over a bikini. Just in the morning. <laughs> it's a mere observation. Uh -huh. You have to be careful on those beaches. There are a lot of little urchins just waiting to nibble at you. I'm going to give you this, okay? It's medicine in case he gets hurt again. Hey, thanks. Okay. It's a strange looking label. Oh, it's because I didn't get it at a drugstore. It's sort of... You know, Dr. Manning's home remedy. And you know what? If you get a bug bite or a sting, just take some wet sand, almost muddy, and just rub it right on the spot. And then take a paste of maybe like baking soda or meat tenderizer. Meat tenderizer? Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't learn that in medical school, but, you know, good old Mother Earth, she's probably the best thing to have around. You know? Yeah, well, it sounds like you'd be handy to have around. <laughs> what I mean is that uh, we could use uh, a doctor like you back in Salem. Oh, is that where you're from? Yeah, it's a nice little town. <laughs> yeah, quiet, Midwest. Not too big. Not too small. <laughs> and there are lots of trees. And friendly people. Well, it sounds like a great place to live. Me, I'd take Tahiti. Tahiti. Tell you what, why don't we make a trade, okay? I'll go back to Salem and you two can stay right here in Tahiti. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Huh? Like a honeymoon forever. Mm. Well, it was very nice meeting you both. Oh. Yeah, same here. Listen, thanks for fixing my foot. Yeah, and thank you for the medicine. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, anytime you want to switch addresses. <laughs>